This faceless channel got monetized in only one month and it gained over 260,000 subscribers in just five months. So then why doesn't everyone just start one of these? Well, the problem is that in starting one, it's actually incredibly time consuming and it involves you needing a bunch of mastery skills with either YouTube or some tricky editing software. But I have found the easiest way to create a successful faceless YouTube channel only using one simple tool so that you can start today. First, what you're gonna need is to find a viral topic. Now, a good video contains a lot of valuable information. So it would help you to pick something that you're generally interested in just so that you can make all of the hard hours of research a little bit more bearable. And at the same time now, you need to ensure that that niche appeals to a broader audience. Because if a similar niche to yours doesn't really get a lot of traffic, then it's probably worth trying a different one then. Niches like education, sports, gaming, and listicle videos are excellent choices for this type of content because you can do a lot with them visually through editing. But more on that later. A few topics that don't work so well for faceless channels are lifestyle vlogs, travel diaries, or reaction videos. Basically anything that requires a lot of emotion or personal charisma. But now after you've settled on your topic, it is time to pick a name for your channel. Now you want to pick a name that is super simple, like this faceless channel here. And as you can see, it shouldn't really be too difficult to work out that this channel is focused more on finance related content. Next is video ideas. You're gonna to wanna to create a list of your 10 best ideas for videos in your niche, and then use a tool like Google Trends to figure out just how popular they are. Trends lets you easily view the search volume of any given term. So obviously, you want your ideas to be searched a lot. So then what you're gonna do is check out similar videos on YouTube that have performed really well. And you wanna focus on just how you can reshape them to make them even better. And now after you have a clear video idea, come up with some titles. A lot of creators do this after finishing the video, but it actually helps to start with the title as it will give you a more clear vision of the finished product in the end. Which leads us now onto the next step which is scripting. If you are recording the audio yourself, you can actually craft a simple outline and then ask ChatGBT to write the script for you. And it'll actually save you a lot of time. And it's getting pretty good nowadays at generating smooth conversational scripts. However, if you are using an AI voiceover, we really recommend writing the script for yourself. Because one of the downsides of an AI voiceover is that it won't be as unique as a human voice. So you have to work a little bit harder here to build a connection with the viewer. But you can actually get past that hurdle and build on that connection as long as the script feels human. So when writing a script for an AI voiceover, you want to aim for a conversational flow with a precise use of punctuation, just so that the AI voice knows where to place its emphasis. And now look, if you are new to writing scripts for yourself, you're going to want to start with bullet points to outline the topics that you want discussed. So things like intro, point one, point two, and so on and so forth. Now, once the script is complete, it is time to begin the editing process. But now before I tell you more about that, what you're gonna need to do is go hunting for some visual and audio assets. And this is where we're gonna be adding a bunch of character into the final video. Now, although there are great paid platforms out there for assets like Storyblocks or Upsplash, you really don't even need to spend a penny because for editing, we're gonna be using Podcastle. And that is a web-based platform out there that allows you to generate AI audio, edit the video, Video and publish long or short form content for any Mac or PC, regardless of your system specs. And to start, let's get the AI voiceover for our script. We do this by clicking AI voices on the podcast will start screen. And from there, you could just add your script and choose from over 400 different AI voices. Here, you're really just looking for a voice that matches your script's tone. So let's test out a couple here. In this video, you will get to know the 10 most amazing music festivals in the US. In this video, you will get to know the 10 most amazing music festivals in the US. Now, once you have found the perfect match, export it and then head over to the video editor. And now this is where you're gonna be editing your faceless video. Now, we actually already have a full length video editing guide on this channel that I definitely recommend you check out after watching this. But for now, I'm just gonna show you a few cool tricks. First, you can use the snip tool to cut up your AI voiceover, then separate them until you have the perfect cadence. Then we can actually begin editing video assets and text overlays to guide the video. Podcastle comes jam-packed with a suite of different graphics, background music choices, and sound effects. 
And now, once you're done, you're ready to publish. But now if you've changed your mind and you actually want to record the video and audio the old fashioned way, you can actually record both of them straight from the platform. Even if you don't have the best equipment, because Podcastle Pro's one-click AI tools allow you to perform a range of different AI miracles, like the AI video enhancer, or the background noise eliminator, or even my favorite, the filler word remover. All right, now you are ready to upload your masterpiece to YouTube and you can actually export your video in the full 4K from Podcastle here, and then just upload it straight to YouTube and it is a super simple process. Then you just add your title, description, and then use a bunch of tags so that people can find your video through their search even faster. It also can help to create a thumbnail in Canva, GIMP, or Adobe Photoshop, or whichever one that you're most comfortable with. But just remember, you wanna make it bold yet slightly intriguing so that everybody will go, huh, What's that? And we are actually currently working on an update that allows you to create a thumbnail and description directly from Podcastle as well, and then publish it directly over to YouTube for even faster uploads. But wait, we've actually forgotten the key ingredient to growing your YouTube channel fast. And that's YouTube Shorts, where you could actually create YouTube Shorts all via Podcastle as well. All you have to do is just resize your long video and then cut it down to the most exciting or shocking parts. Then add another AI voiceover that tells the viewer to click on your video channel for the full video. Look at that. How cool is that? And then soon you won't even have to do that because Podcastle is adding an automatic AI clip tool that takes the best part of your video and turns it into a short for you. See, we've actually created an entire faceless YouTube channel in no time at all, all using just one tool. So stay consistent and try to publish at least one long form or two short form videos a week and then you will soon be so successful in no time. And if that is as cool to you as it is to me, then use the promo code linked down in the description for 50% off your first month of Podcastle Pro. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.